Hello everyone, Tiffany Manger here, and I'd like to bring to you another You Used What to Make That. This is where I take a common household product and make a project out of it. I've done dryer sheets, I've done marbles, I've done shaving cream, and this time I'd like to bring to you an item that uh, some people, I'd say people have it in their household, and some people think they're a little inhumane, but let's take a negative and turn it into a positive. What am I talking about here? A common household mousetrap. What? How are we going to make a project out of that? Well, I'll show you. You can take one of these little guys and you can make an adorable little note holder here. You put your note here, right here where the snapper goes, and you can either attach a ribbon to it and hang it and make it a little Christmas ornament, maybe put a photo by it, or you could put some magnets on the back of it and make it to hang up on your fridge and put your notes on it. So let's get started on how we're going to do this. So we got our mouse trap here, and you're going to need to do a little surgery to it first. We're going to take a pair of pliers and we're going to remove everything but the snapper here. So we need to remove this guy here, and you can get these at the dollar store. Let's see if these guys will work a little easier. And they're usually pretty easy to pop out. And let's see, it might take me a little bit to wiggle this out here, because I only got little pliers. Let me try these guys again. So yeah, you're going to remove this part here that holds the little trigger down. Oh, well, that piece came out. Now we just want to remove this guy here. If I can get him out. Oh, there's one. And don't worry, these holes will be covered. Work with it a little bit. I just don't want to bop anything. As I'm... There we go. We're going to take that piece out. That's just trash. And then we're going to take this little piece out, this guy here. So we're going to pop that piece out. And we're going to take this piece out here. Now normally the one other ones I've had this guy was weaved in the middle of this so I had to take this off and get it out and then put the spring back in. So all we're going to do here is, there we go, we're going to pop him out. All those pieces there, that's trash, you can get it away, throw it away, and then all you got left is this snapper here. So let me get all this guy stuff out of the way. And then we are done with our pliers. All right. And first I'm going to, we're going to cover this up with DSP and normally it's around one and three quarters of an inches wide. Um, again, they're all different. So I would measure it a little bit and this says about one and three quarters. I actually made my piece a little tiny bit bigger because if you can see it's a little bit over than the one and three quarters. And then I make it three inches long to wrap around that. So here I go, I got two pieces of DSP, one and three quarters by three inches. Again, I would measure the mousetrap first to make it kind of even. This I'm going to have to line right up on there. So normally I would take Tombow glue and just glue this guy on here, but my Tombow glue has not wanting to be working with me here. I think it's all, so I am going to take our um, fine tip glue pen. This stuff works pretty good too. Okay, there we go. As you see, it has a very fine tip to do nice little things here. And I want to move this spring guy up as I'm putting my mouse trap on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that here because I want to cover that. Let's see how I do then. So. You're just going to cover this with your glue. And you want to cover this edge too. And a little bit on the back here. Alright, now can I get this under there? No, I cannot. Let's see if I can move this guy. i got two pairs of pliers here. See if this will work. Let's see if I can move this up. See, my other ones don't have... The other ones I've used before, I don't have these guys. I've never used this brand before. Aha, there we go. I got him moved up a little bit. So while he's up, 
I need four hands for this here. Okay. Well, I get him up here. I just want him to move up a little bit. There we go. Can he sit there like that? There we go. As I slide this piece of paper in there, or this piece of cardstock. Okay. There we go. So we're just going to apply that there. Try to slide it down as far as you can. And then we're just going to fold them over. And I've got glue all over my hands now. Let's apply a little bit there. Let's apply the glue. There we go. And like I said, we're just going to wrap him around. Like that. See? There we go. Like so. Whoops. I'm getting glue over there. Good thing this is just a test. This is just a demo piece. I might give it away. I might not. And let's see here. We'll get him to stick on here. Hopefully he'll stay. I probably did not add enough glue. Okay. So there's that piece. And now let's hold this back. Make sure you keep that back because if that snaps back, it's going to hurt. All right. And we're going to add some glue to this here. And then I'm going to apply my piece. I'm going to line that right up there with it. And this glue is sticking good. Okay, let's move that onto there. We can put that back. Again, watch your fingers. All right, and then we'll apply the glue back here. Onto that, and then we'll put some here. All right. There we go. Oh, let's hold it down for a little bit. Make sure it stays. So there you go. You see we got our mousetrap covered with our DSP and... I've got glue all over it, but that's okay. You can wait till it dries and you can take your adhesive remover and go that over there. We're gonna be covering this up anyways. Make sure all your bubbles are out. This is gonna help hold it down. So if we were using the Tombow glue, this probably would have sticked a little faster, a little better. And if you if your piece is too big, you would just take a pair of scissors and trim that. So there we go. We're gonna let this sit here as we assemble um, our decoration piece, like this one, I did a really big bow. This item's retired. It was a die that made bows. We do still have the punch that makes the little bows. And you could put one of those on and add some more decorations. But I'm going to, you're going to get a double dose tutorial video here. So I'm going to show you how to use this punch. This is our flower builder punch. And as you can see, it has like a big petal, a medium petal, and then a little double one and an X. And to do this flower... I punched out eight of these big ones here and then I stamped them with a stamp that we had and then that was eight of them and then I did four of the medium sized ones over here and this is I did them in um, sweet sugar plum and then I did two of the little double pieces here if you're doing like a mermaid punch or a design or whatnot you can also use that as like a bra for the mermaid top and then I did two of the little X's in Peekaboo Peach. I already punched them out to save time. So we're going to assemble this together. I already stamped them. And then I already took all of them. And I kind of gave them a little fold in the middle here to give them more depth. So we're going to take our pieces here. All right, let me get my little X's. And then I took a one inch punch and punched out a couple of punches here. All right, so I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna put like an X of glue on it. And then I am just going to attach these pieces onto this right across from each other, like so, see? Hold them down for a moment so they seal. And I'm going to put one on each side here. Down like that. And another one down in like that. So you make a plus sign with it. Like I said, you're getting a double do dose of tutorial here. Where to, I'm showing you how to do this flower punch. And I'm also showing you how to make this mousetrap holder. Okay, there's this guy. I'm going to take another circle and do the same thing. 
So I'll make my plus sign here with my glue. And that ought to hold it down. All right, and let's take our pieces here and make a little plus sign. Hold that down for a moment. And then take our other little guys here and all right hold him down now you could just glue this right on top of the other one if you wanted to but if you want to give more dimension and have the flower pop up more i will show you what we will do we will take a dimensional and we're going to put this right in the middle of this guy here like so and then we're going to put this guy on top. We're going to crisscross this like so. All right. And then we're going to put another dimensional on here. This is one time I cannot cut dimensionals in half. I have to use a whole one. That's okay. We're going to put this guy on top here. And see how it's giving you that extra depth there? All right. And then... I'm going to put a little bit of glue in each corner here because I'm going to put our smaller petals out here like so. And there's one and I just, I'm getting a lot of glue on myself tonight. Okay, there's two. Get him this stick. Okay. He doesn't want to stay. Let's add a little bit more glue here. Hot glue works pretty good too. If you don't want to use this kind of glue. If you want something fast. Okay, well I'm holding him down. I'm going to hold this guy onto here. And not every flower is perfect. I've actually made a wreath out of all these. I'm just doing some small chat here while these get set down. Okay. Add a little bit of glue there. As you see, he's not perfectly straight, but he works. All right. So there he is. And then I'm going to put some glue down in here and some in here. And I'm going to put our little plus side or our little, uh, little petal guys here. I'm going to hold him down for a moment. Da -da 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 -da. Cue the Jeopardy music here. All right, he should be held down now. We'll put a little glue there in the middle. And then I'll put him down there. Hold him down for a moment. All right, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of tiny bit of glue in the middle because I'm gonna put our X's in here now. So. This is a good time to have nails. You can also use your uh, paper piercer if you'd like. There we go. We held him down a little bit. And good thing with this glue, it will dry clear. And we're going to just make a little X with this guy here. Let me hold him down like so. All right. There you go. Voila. There is our flower. So now we're going to use this to decorate this. And I would like to cover up part of this here. Or because if you put it there, you I mean you could put it right there and it would look fine, but I kind of want to cover this up. So what I'm gonna do is you could either load it up with dimensionals, or if you need some extra thickness, um, this is leftover foam from the clear mounts or the wood mounts. This is from the wood mount, but I mean every time you get a clear mount or a wood mount stamp, you always got this stuff left over. So we're gonna use a little bit of this to make a stand for right there so let me just cut a piece off here like so and it's all this since this is the wood mount this has already got a really good sticky backing to it so I'm gonna peel that off and I'm gonna stick that right in the middle here 
like so. And then I am going to attach this guy with the glue. And I think he should be able to stay on there. You can see my flowers moving a little bit. And I'm going to hold him down for a little bit here. All right, he should be able to stay. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? You got a really pretty notepad holder. And then what I'm going to do is, is I've got some of this magnet on a roll. And I'm going to take a few pieces here. Just a little strip. I'm going to take about two strips here. Like this. And they have a sticky backy to them too. So I'm just going to peel this tape off here. And I am going to apply it to the back. I'm going to hold him down as I'm... Stick your stuff on the back there. And... Get this guy. See if he works with me here. Okay, where'd my scissors go? I have to... There we go. <laughs> and we'll attach him right onto there. There you go. Voila. All done. Isn't that adorable and that easy to do? There's that one. And here I'll show you this other guy that I made. You can also do other little designs and put a banner right across the middle there too if you'd like. Let me hold him down a little bit. And there's my other example. If you like what you've seen, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I love sharing my love of crafting with you and I love teaching it to people. Also, if you um, would like more information on Stampin' Up! or would like to order anything, my website is www.tiffanymanger.stampinup.net. I have it down in the description below. I also have a Facebook page, Tiffany Manger Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. So if you have any questions, you can ask right there then too. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you come back to watch more of my videos. and. I'd like to tell you, have a nice day.